Today on The Gold Standard. It's over. Things have changed. And the joyride that lasted for the last 40 years, something has changed. I don't know how clearly I have to say it. And when things change, you have to take on different aspects to adjust. This is a drastic financial time. This is The Gold Standard from Midas Gold Group with Kenneth Russo. Hello, I'm Dave Dino. Welcome to The Gold Standard, your source for secure investment opinion and information on the advantages of purchasing and owning precious metals. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced collector, this is the program that gives you a realistic weekly perspective on the state of the economy, reliable information about using precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum to safeguard your wealth, and remarkable details about specific precious metal coins and bullion. Ken Russo is a senior vice president at Midas Gold Group. His peers characterize him as a straight shooter who will work harder for you than anyone else. Ken, it is a pleasure to join you again this week. Yes, nice to talk to you. Nice to be with you today, Dave, and everybody out there. Our topic is a very serious one. It is economic chaos and the stability of gold. And Ken, today we're going to talk about the collapse of economic systems in both Europe and Asia that's happening right before our eyes. How once very strong currencies have fallen in value dramatically. But first, let's provide a little bit of context. Why would struggling economies in Europe and Asia be of concern to us here in America? Well, you know, Dave, it's a, it's a worldwide global financial system. It's connected. We are, are dependent on other countries, just like other countries are dependent on us financially. So when you have a fiat system, which came about in 1971, that was the start of the fiat experience, a, a, an experiment where all of these currencies, paper currencies backed by nothing, would be able to float, Dave, against one another in value. And that experiment is now imploding, where all of these connected fiat currencies are really trash. They're toxic. They're, they're filled with debt. They're uh, backed by countries that continue to, uh, to spend, led by the United States that just keeps spending and spending and printing and printing. And it's all connected. So when we have a liquidity situation or, or a financial system problem in another part of the world, especially like Europe, which is very relevant, and Asia, which is very relevant, of course, it's going to affect our economy and our financial markets here. And that's exactly what we're seeing. And, and Dave, that's what we have to protect ourselves against. What I want people to realize this week is there is a financial storm coming. It could take on many, many different faces. It's all due to debt. And this debt is enormous. And what could we do to protect ourselves, to preserve our wealth, Dave, so that when this financial collapse happens, because it's inevitable, how could we survive financially? And how could we not be financially destroyed? And that's where gold comes in. Ken, I came across an article with the headline, The Global Economy is in Chaos. And it stated, nobody is coming to the rescue. No. And how many times have we stated uh, before, the only answer to all of this, the only bullet in the central bankers and the politicians gun is to print more money. So we have an inflation problem. Back in 2000, when the dot-com indices burst, when we had a severely overvalued market, the, uh, the difference was, was that we didn't have inflation. And we were able to lower interest rates to kind of, you know, ease that uh, situation. Back in 2008, when we had the subprime mortgage crisis, notice how all of the games in the financial industry and the system end up blowing up. And that's where we're headed today. But in 2008, when we had the subprime mortgage crisis, again, the government started uh, printing more money, providing stimulus and uh, quantitative easing, but again, lowered interest rates. But look at today. We are in a situation where we're headed towards economic collapse. We're, we're in a situation where these bubbles are all being deflated. We're in a stock, bond, and real estate bear market where tremendous value is going to be lost. And we're in a situation where they're raising interest rates dramatically. So this is different 
like I said, folks, we've just gone through 40 years of a joy ride. If you're lucky enough, smart enough, you know, brilliant enough, inherited money, who cares? It doesn't matter. That is over. It has changed. You have to change with what's going on. And right now, before things are all brought down, before the markets are all brought to their knees by what's going on, the joy ride is over, especially with interest rates. Something has changed. Obviously, we'll have little pockets here or there, but the trend has changed. What you have to do is you have to go in defense mode. You have to give yourself an opportunity to protect your wealth. Let's focus on wealth preservation instead of greed. And right now, gold is uh, very able to, it always has and always will provide that protection, Dave, that preservation, that wealth preservation through physical gold so that you won't lose it all when the markets come apart. So what, what people should consider right now is that we're in the riskiest market of all time. And that's because that the bubble is as big as it's ever been. We are in the mother of all bubbles. And when we're talking about stocks and bonds and, and real estate, that's where the majority of people have their wealth. So the question is, is when that all comes down, I don't know if it's going to take a, a week or, or a few months or a few years. It doesn't matter. You still have an opportunity to pull some money out of the financial system and you have a chance to not be destroyed based on the actions of the central bankers and our politicians and our leaders and our current administration, you have a chance to, to protect a good portion of your nest egg through the physical ownership of gold, silver, platinum. And why those, Dave, is it's money. It's always been worth something. There's no third party counter risk. It's a medium of exchange. It's a store of value. It's always been that and it always will be. So it's time for people to take a step back and to just say, hey, I'm not going to speculate with all my money. We're in a bubble. We need to be very careful with what's going on right now. And for the betterment of my wealth and for the betterment of my family, I'm going to take a significant portion of my money out of paper assets and out of the banking system. And I'm going to get it into something that I could hold on to and control, something that I know no matter what will always be worth something and something that will always be there. And, you know, we're talking about gold, Dave. And we're going to continue our topic, economic chaos and the stability of gold, a little bit later in the program. And we'll highlight several other tangible ways to convert your wealth into the security of gold. But first, a reminder that you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And coming up, we're going to look at a specific precious metal that you can use to safeguard your wealth. And that's coming up right after this. Sebastian Gorka here, urging you to consider converting your cash savings and a good portion of your investments into gold with Midas Gold Group. Because if you're a conservative or MAGA supporter, the rhetoric coming from the acting president is appalling. Biden has called companies and individuals who support MAGA policies extremists and semi-fascists. And it's only a matter of time before the administration controls our finances with digital currency. Biden already signed an executive order preparing for digital currency with 87,000 new IRS agents who can monitor our every transaction. I recommend calling veteran-owned Midas Gold Group to safeguard your wealth with physical gold before it's too late. Gold is private and traditionally holds its value when economies crash. Go to MidasGoldGroup.com or call them at 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-GOLD. It's gold you can hold. 855-322-GOLD. Call today. And we're back with more of The Gold Standard, brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino, and our topic today is economic chaos and the stability of gold. By the way, if you live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, you can actually come and visit our local office to meet with us in person. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, that's 855-322-4653. Now, it's time for one of my favorite portions of the program, our Featured Precious Metal Product of the Week. And today, our Featured Precious Metal Product is the Gold South African Krugerrand. And Ken, I remember years ago, the Krugerrand 
was considered the most popular gold coin in the world. Yeah. I mean, uh, don't forget, there was no uh, U.S. gold coins made, Dave, between 1933 and 1985. So U.S. investors in the uh, late 70s and early 80s that wanted to buy gold didn't have many choices. And the uh, South African Cougarand was one of the one gold coins that were available. So mm. it's kind of like an old timer, like you said, one mm -hmm. of the one of the beginning uh, products uh, for wealth preservation. And uh, the South African Cougarand, Dave, it has tens of millions of coins right now in, in circulation. It's, mm. it's offered an extraordinary value for bullion collectors. This is a bullion coin mm -hmm. across the globe. It is a, it is a well-known coin globally. It was first struck in 1967. Mm. And the coins have undergone, Dave, since then a variety of changes through the years. But one thing hasn't changed is that the Cougarand still represents an excellent choice for anyone that are looking to invest in, in gold bullion. It comes in various sizes, Dave, but the one ounce gold Cougarand is the most common. It's a 22 karat gold coin. It's 91.67% pure gold, and it actually weighs about 1.1 troy ounces. It's mm -hmm. a little browner in color than, say, like the buffalo or the maple leaf because there's some copper in the Cougarand, but it's mm -hmm. it has a very unique color to it. It's great for collections, Dave, to protect wealth. It is not eligible for a, a gold IRA. But um, when it comes to pulling some money out of non-qualified accounts, Dave, or uh, some cash accounts, maybe money markets or CDs, and when it comes to looking at a, let's say, undervalued, relatively modestly priced gold coin, in this environment where folks, a lot of the gold products are drying up as well as silver. Don't be fooled by the continued manipulation of the paper price of gold and silver. Many people are, are owning as many of these gold and silver coins as they can right now. And a lot of these products are, are three, four weeks delayed. Wow. So once, yeah, one, this is going to be a serious issue, Dave, especially next year. Mm. And we may have see, you know, to see two, three, month waiting periods. But right now, folks, I mean, uh, you don't have to go through that situation. The Cougarand is available. It's an, an impressive gold coin. You still have time to get some money out of the banking system and out of your uh, stock accounts or trading accounts. It's an impressive gold coin. And, uh, and we do think that it offers a, a significant way to preserve your wealth. And all, it also offers, Dave, we feel, uh, a good way to see a return on your wealth as well, as we feel the, the price of the cougar and then the price of gold uh, as a whole over the next five years will increase pretty dramatically. Thank you, Ken. Coming up in a moment, we're going to continue our subject of economic chaos and the stability of gold with Ken Russo from the Midas Gold Group. And that's coming up right after this. Sebastian Gorka here. More than ever, it's critical to convert your cash savings and a good portion of your investments into gold with the only gold company I recommend, Midas Gold Group. Why? Because those pulling the strings behind the Biden administration want to know everything about your finances. They had Biden sign an executive order preparing for a digital currency. Midas Gold Group sees tyrannical implications, especially for MAGA supporters. Digital currency will record all your financial transactions with 87,000 new IRS agents able to monitor to your accounts. So I recommend calling veteran-owned Midas Gold Group to safeguard your wealth with physical gold before it's too late. Gold is private and holds its value when economies crash. Protect yourself and your family. Go to MidasGoldGroup.com or call 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-GOLD. It's gold you can hold. Call 855-322-GOLD. And we're back with more of the Gold Standard, brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino. And our topic today is economic chaos and the stability of gold. As you have heard us say before, if you live in the Los Angeles or Phoenix area, you actually have quite an advantage where you can actually come and visit our local office to meet with us in person, even see some of the product that we talk about here on the air. And it's pretty impressive. You can get directions by logging on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, just call us directly at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. For the numbers, call us at 855-322-4653. Now, Let's return to our subject of economic chaos 
and the stability of gold. And Ken, I want to go back to a question I didn't get a chance to ask you a little bit earlier in the program. I hear what you're saying. You're saying that economies based on fiat money, that is money not backed by gold as it used to be, but now backed by increasing credit, those economies are nothing more than a house of cards? Well, just think about it, Dave. I mean, if you can print as much money as you want it to into infinity, eventually it's uh, going to lower the value of, of that particular commodity. The more you produce of something, the, the lower the value goes. That's just basic economics. But when you have this type of a system that is based on fiat money, think about it here in the United States. The Federal Reserve prints money out of thin air. The United States government wants to uh, issue bonds. They issue the bonds, and then they have to uh, pay an interest rate back to the Fed to, uh, to borrow the money. Well, all of this money is just created out of thin air, and actually the money for the interest rate is, doesn't even exist. So mm. when you have that type of a system that is just not tangible, not strong, no basic strong foundation, monopoly money, mm. and when it's abused, and when our politicians only care about getting reelected and making promises, and when our government spends and spends and spends, I think there was $1.7 trillion of debt or so back in uh, 1971 when they stripped our fiat money of, of all of its value of taking all the gold out of our currency. I think uh, the total debt today is uh, about $92 trillion when it comes to the United States. And it's probably actually 150 or 200 trillion when wow. you think about unfunded liabilities, that $31 trillion number, Dave, that everybody talks about all the time. That's only a little part of, hmm. of what's going on. And that's what they tell us. So imagine how big the debt situation is and how much people don't understand and how much could go wrong. And that's all because it's based on a fiat currency system where our politicians and our central bankers have thoroughly been reckless and they've abused the privilege to be able to, uh, to print money and they've printed into oblivion and it's not going to end well. Ken, as you're saying, we're seeing once strong currencies worldwide being devalued more and more. Uh, how exactly does then gold protect cash reserves or investments from suffering the same decline in value? Well, it's kind of a magical situation, Dave. Um, since 1971, the United States government has increased its debt, doubled its debt every eight years, and the price of gold has doubled about every about seven years. The more you print of something and the more that exists of something, the more that you increase the supply of something, whatever it is, the value is going to go down. Gold, on the other hand, you just can't print it out of thin air. It's, it's always been money, all the way back to the Roman Empire. It's uh, been money for thousands of years. It's always had value to it. It's always been its own. It's, it doesn't have any third-party counter risk. And remember, folks, not paper gold, not ETF gold, not mining shares, none of that stuff that the bank or your advisor says, oh, well, we could offer you gold. No, you can't. This is physical gold, gold that you could hold on to, stuff that you can put somewhere safe or in a safe or somewhere you can keep it where you know it'll be there when you or your family needs it. So when it comes to the banking system and when it comes to fiat money and equity investments and bond investments, remember, Dave, it's all paper. So gold is different because it's not physical, tangible gold, which is the only way that we endorse wealth preservation in that form, Dave. Remember, if you hold it, you own it. So very, very different than just digits. Most of the money, folks, that we look at today, it's, it's not in paper form. A very small part of what we look at is in actual paper form uh, or cash form. Uh, most of it is just digits. And eventually, it's all going to be digits that goes just from institution to institution or entity to entity. This way, we could all be monitored and it could be a surveillance system. So if you don't want to have all your wealth, Dave, in that type of a system, which I don't know who would want to, it's imperative that you take some of it out of the banking system and one thing that you can put it into, which is much, much different than banking system assets or paper assets or fiat assets is physical gold coins and gold bars. Very, very different 
and very, very different track record of holding your purchasing power than fiat or paper money, Dave. Again, we will, uh, from time to time, state we're not political here on the program. But I noted that even our own government, uh, the Biden regime, if you will, refuses to acknowledge the wolf banging at the door. I mean, I saw a story this week that said in the midst of America's continued record inflation and recession, President Joe Biden has sidelined his attention to giving awkward dating advice to a teenage girl. I mean, you talk about being out of touch. Well, yeah, Dave. I mean, we're not being disrespectful, but we we have to say how it is, right? It's embarrassing. It's disappointing. As a veteran-owned company, it's very upsetting because, you know, we fought for freedom for for this country, and now we fight for financial survival and, and for financial freedom and for financial privacy. But how many times have I said to you even, when something goes bad, when we need to have a, a, a big decision made, when there needs to be uh, somebody to take charge, there isn't anyone. Right. We have a government full of people who really don't have any business experience. We have people that work at our Federal Reserve banks that really don't have any experience when it comes to uh, catastrophes or uh, some type of uh, financial crisis, that sort of thing. We are in a very, very bad situation, Dave. And um, we're led by the worst people at the worst possible time. And, and, le- and we could be respectful, but, you know, it's going to end very badly. And even if we get a big turnaround in midterm elections, which, you know, we'll see, we could have better borders and we could have better uh, unification and we could have better leadership and we could have all of that stuff. But no matter who takes the reins, they're still all going to print money. They're still all backed into a corner. They have no bullets left in their gun with uh, with rising interest rates. And remember, we're talking about a financial situation here, you know, financial markets. Uh, There's a lot of other stuff going on out there. When it comes to financial markets, they are toast. Of course, we're going to bounce from time to time. Of course, you're going to see a little bit of reprieve from time to time. Overall, folks, it's over. Things have changed. And the joyride that lasted for the last 40 years something has changed. I don't know how clearly I have to say it. And when things change, you have to take on different aspects to adjust. This is a drastic financial time. So I would encourage people to take that very seriously. It could happen overnight. There's so much stuff that's going on. And you got to ask yourself, well, what can go on that's good? Well, it already happened. It's already been good for 40 years pretty much the whole time due to abnormally low interest rates and huge debt and huge money printing. It's over. So you got to ask yourself, how could I hold on to some of this wealth that's taken me so long to accumulate? I don't want to lose it all. And that's where we come in and we can give a client some suggestions when it comes to actual gold or silver products for wealth preservation, Dave. Ken, everything you say is the very reason why I have moved a good portion of my investments to physical gold and into a gold IRA with your guidance there at Midas Gold Group. I got to tell you, I feel a lot more secure financially because of it. So thank you. Oh, my pleasure, Dave. That's what we do. And that's going to bring us to the end of our time together here on The Gold Standard with Ken Russo, brought to you by Midas Gold Group. And a reminder, opinions given here are not intended to be specific to your investment strategy, but rather general information to give you a better understanding of investing in precious metals. However, for answers to your questions, call Midas Gold Group at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD, by the numbers 855-322-4653. And the website is MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S, Midas Gold Group. Dot com. The Midas Gold Group is proud to be America's number one veteran-owned gold dealer, supporting veterans' causes with a portion of profits donated to the Wounded Warriors Project and the Semper Fi Fund. So your investment in your future is also an investment in the future of those who have bravely served the cause of freedom. Again, the number to call to speak directly with Midas Gold Group is 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. Hey, Ken, thank you so much for your time again today. 
Well, thank you, Dave. Talk to you in another week. I look forward to it. I'm Dave Dino. Come and join us again next week at this same time for another edition of The Gold Standard. The Gold Standard was brought to you by the Midas Gold Group.